got the itchies and no back scratcher. <laughs> ah. Hey y'all, thanks for stopping in. Appreciate you taking time out of y'all's busy schedule. Stop in and see what it is I'm up to. It is Saturday, the 16th of April, 2022. I think I got that right. Uh, it is 79 degrees Fahrenheit out there. Humidity is at 74%. It's overcast, threatening rain. 26 degrees Celsius. So, I came out to this little park to, uh, uh, uh itchy, itchy. Came out to this little park to kind of go through what's going on in here. I keep adding, keep bringing stuff out as I'm reorganizing the house. And, uh, even from before, things were kind of messed up, jumbled up from when my son was working on the motor and whatnot. So, I didn't realize when he was working on things that he disconnected my battery, my leisure battery, the battery that I use for the back, and didn't hook it back up again. So that was one thing I needed. I was trying, trying to get my lights to work, trying to get my fans to work. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Went and checked and the battery wasn't even hooked up. So, I had to look around, excuse me, find the, bat, find the wiring. He didn't just disconnect it from the battery. He took it down and wrapped it all up. So, uh, anyway, finally got that taken care of. Um, I'm going to have to replace two of my little fans that did not work. I didn't throw them out yet. But we'll take them home and try and rinse them, out, rinse them out and see what happens. And, uh, so yeah, I'm sweaty, aggravated, a little, a little sore. So I thought I would continue my ride and head on down to the inlet. Well, actually, the, the little jetties. Um, and then maybe climb back in the back and continue looking. Uh, the one dresser that's back there, the food food cabinet, the one's got the food and everything in it. So you don't want to get around this truck before. It ain't going to happen. Well, uh, um, yeah, the cabinets up about two inches closer to the back of my seat than it should be, which may be because uh, you put the box that's supposed to be right here between the seats behind that. So I'll have to try to move that, that uh, dresser. And it's heavy. It's got all kinds of canned foods in it, all my cooking stuff, odds and ends. So luckily I found some uh, thick wall PVC pipe the other day I think might do it but anyway uh, now a little bit of ranting <sighs> apps like, like fast food apps Wendy's uh, Arby's Burger King all of them um, what's up with needing a password I mean, seriously why do I even have to put in you know Put in my my email for that matter. I mean, okay, I know they want to send you offers and all that, but it could just be right on the app. You know, when you go to look at your app, you open the app and it shows you the various offers you want, and then you go in and you make your order. No, first you have to sign in because you haven't you haven't made an order there in six months. Well, what's my password? I don't know. I haven't ordered from y'all in six months on my app. Well, you know, click here. We'll send you. We'll send you a link to your. We'll send a link to your, e to your email in order to get a new password. I'm driving down the road, people. 
I don't want to be going into my email, finding the right email, pushing another link, creating another password, and then going back to the original site. I just want to order some food. It's supposed to be making it easier. It's not easier. Stop worrying about you know what my email is and tracking me and all the other stuff. Just make your app usable as soon as, as soon as it's open. For those people that want the special offers, they would actually go in and check their email every day. Oh look, I got a, I got a coupon from Arby's for 25 cents off. Something I've never eaten. Then that's fine. That's not me. I don't go check my emails unless I'm expecting something. But, but, I know everything's that way now. Everything's getting to be online and, you know, connected by Bluetooth and just crazy stuff. I'm looking down here. I'm not going to have any drink. Oh. Um. I went to my daughter's yesterday to do laundry. This doesn't have anything to do with apps or Bluetooth. But your new modern washing machine. I put my wash in. Did what she did. Did what she told me to do. You know, just put the wash in. Push the top button, it says three, two, one, and then you push the bottom button and hold it. And it starts. Well, after about an hour, I'm wondering, why isn't that thing done? And I went and looked, and it's flashing 149. I'm like, what does that mean? And then went down to 148. I'm like, that's a freaking timer. I still got over an hour and 45 minutes for this load of wash. Seriously? It wasn't that big of a load of wash that it needed, you know, two and a half hours, almost three hours to wash. And there's no way to abort it, or at least none that I could find. So, I called uh, my daughter's mother-in-law who lives at the other end of the property. And she does, she does a, a lot of the laundry there and asked her about it. And she said, no, you just have to let it run through. And if you have another load, you can switch it to quick load or quick wash. And then you put in a time for it. Why didn't I know that before? Same thing with the dryer. Uh, luckily, I asked about that. And she said, no, put it to... Put it to uh, fast dry and then put in the time you want. Otherwise, you'll be there for two and a half hours waiting for a load to dry. And it runs a little bit, shuts off. Runs a little bit, shuts off. How is that energy efficient? Small, medium, and large loads. You know? shouldn't be running for two and a half hours. That's ridiculous. That's for like super soil clothes. I would think. To me it doesn't make any sense. What do I know? I'm not an engineer. But anyhow. This probably wasn't the brightest idea. It's Saturday. Got the day right at least. But it's a nice Saturday. This place is probably going to be jam packed. Oh. Looks like they got another Navy ship over there. It's a repair facility. Let's see, let's see, let's see. 
past some of these bushes and whatnot. And it's still locked. Yeah, they've definitely got some sort of warship over there in the dry dock. At least it looks like the dry dock. I can't get a decent picture of it. Maybe I can head to Little Caesar's Creek over there. But, ooh. So it's just come tumbling down. Tons of traffic. Not a whole lot of people down here on the beach. Which is a good thing. Let's see, let's see, let's see. See how long, how far I can cruise along this beach. If I can cruise along that beach. Got to park a little far down, but... Sorry for any wind noise and whatever. Looks like it might be a good spot, eh? Probably turn around. Just because. Opening the back doors up. We'll see see how see how it feels with just the windows open. I'm sitting here with the river breeze. And uh, yeah, I've got a few things to do before I I came out, I wanted to go through the through the drawer. The stuff that I've got back there and whatever but can't find can't find my my uh, well not tripod but the clamp that I had in the back I may have to go ahead and move this one up here and yada 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 but anyway oh uh, we'll see I'll probably get back there and see what all I got going on and uh, for now that's about it folks let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs down or a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Wherever it is, y'all leave comments on your internet access device of choice. If you'd like to share me around your social media, that'd be fandoculous. If your loved ones are nearby, ooh, there's something jumping out there. If your loved ones are nearby, give them a kiss and a hug. If they're not, give them a call. Hit them up on Facebook. Let them know you think about them. Let them know you love them. We ain't promised tomorrow, people. We ain't promised our next breath. I see y'all again. Hope you have a fandoculous day. It's watchy, y'all. Uh, bye bye.